Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson tells WBZ, yes, he is conceding that he lost the job he's had for the past 25 years. And here are the latest numbers with 95% of precincts reporting. Paul Haro has close to 51% of the vote. Hodgson at 49, as you can see there, even. WBZ's Brandon Truitt has covered Hodgson and some of the controversies surrounding him for years. He shows us why voters may have been ready for this change. I'm tired, but I'm glad it's over. Attleboro Mayor Paul Hero settling into his stunning victory over Sheriff Thomas Hodgson, who's been in the role for a quarter century. Um, it was time for change. You know, just like uh, five years ago when I knocked off the second longest serving mayor of Attleboro, it was a similar situation. It was time for change. People were ready. We obviously thought we were in a, in a different position. Sheriff Hodgson's calling the loss disappointing, standing by the 25 years of work he put into the county. Hodgson drew criticism in recent years for his close ties to former President Donald Trump, visiting the White House on multiple occasions. And in 2017, Hodgson offered to send in here to the southern border to help build the wall. Hodgson officially conceding this race, but would not say if his closeness to President Trump helped or hurt him. Did work with the former president and never will apologize for doing that because I was in Washington when, when uh, Barack Obama was there and, uh, and, and nobody complained about that. He had the endorsement of Governor Charlie Baker in this race, but not President Trump. There were some folks who were disappointed by the outcome of this race, but overwhelmingly, the people I spoke with say this is the change they were looking for. We should have somebody new in there, new with fresh ideas and things that he can do. Sending inmates to build the wall, um, just really outlandish things that shouldn't be really, it shouldn't be a thing. Hero says he has plans to focus on reducing repeat offenders, better discharge planning for housing and work assistance, along with improving correctional officers' working conditions. Hero believes in limited terms, serving three as mayor just like he pledged on day one, now committing to serving just two terms as sheriff if voters allow it. I don't want to overstay my welcome. Because voters choosing a different direction and shaking up the status quo. In Dartmouth, Brandon Truett, WBZ News.